Yes, Nigerians, let's move. Yes, Nigerians, let's move. We are at the moment. We must move now. Move, Nigerians. You see what we tell you? Britain and America. Imperial Europe. Saudi Arabia. France. China. They don't mean well for the people of Africa. They don't like us. You see what they are doing now? A man who was convicted of drug, commercial drug sales in the United States of America, where they, President Joe Biden, is sending a delegation to validate a criminal who was prosecuted here and made to pay back money. Nigerians, Africans, do you need anybody to tell you any further? That we must stand up and get up for ourselves and get up for our country and get up for our continent. Hear them. That's why that's the only way where business is easier for them through corrupt rogues. They will support. America is supposed to be to be the beacon of hope. That's what they claim they are. They are supposed to be the champion of democracy. That's what they say they are. They support dictatorship around the world. The dictatorship that will come and breed, breed terrorists and criminals. That will come and disturb the peace of the world. That's what the United States, Britain, France, China has joined them now. Ar the Arabias. That's what they want for Africa. They want to keep us di disordered forever. So they can continue to exploit us and take our resources and uh, drain our brains to their countries. Nigerians, what are you going to be told? To make you wake up. If you allow these terrorists and this drug, this drug dealer to be installed, president and vice president response, respectively of Nigeria, Nigeria will be doomed. The world will be doomed. Africa will be destabilized for, a, for occupation by waiting imperial forces. Some of them have their mercenaries in forests across Nigeria. Nigerians, what do you want to be told? Get up and stand up. Get up and stand up. I can't believe that Joe Biden, that all of us put, rolled up our sleeves, will be the one stabbing Nigeria in the back. At the moment, the people of Nigeria needs America most. No. Stand up for your right. Get up. Stand up. Stand up for your right. Get up. Stand up. Don't give up the fight. Get up. Stand up. Stand up for your right. You get up. You stand up. Don't give up the fight. You see. Most people think, great God, we come from the sky. Take away everything, make everybody think right. And if you know what right is what, you will look for us just right here. And now you see the light. Stand up for your right. You get up, stand up. Stand up for your right. Get up. Stand up. Stand up for your right. You get up. You stand up. Uh -huh. Stand up for your right. Nigerians. 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 
This is the last trumpet. This is the last trumpet. Look not east, west, or south. Look from within. Unite and end the darkness in your country. Britain and America will not come to solve it for you. We did not solve theirs. They solved theirs. And that is why. That is why they are what they are. Have you seen America inviting Nigeria? To witness its swearing in ceremony? Have you ever heard about Nigeria being invited to monitor elections in the United States? They took care of all that to bring about balance in their country. And they made us look like we are little kids who will continue to be in their schools from which we will never graduate. It is time for us to graduate. And we are at that moment of graduation. That is what they don't want. That is why they are supporting the rules to once again take over our country. 62 going to 63 years, we have been kindergarten. We have the best brains on the surface of this earth, but we cannot put it together for the good of our country. They give us people who, are, who have no business leading. We are not the ones who choose our leaders, but this is the time we must end this. Now is the time. So get up, stand up. Stand up for your right. It is not about party anymore. It is not about tribe. It's not about religion. It is about one place that we love so much that we call Nigeria. And this is why every patriot of Nigeria, from within Nigeria and around the world, must band together to ensure that Bola Ahmed Tinubu, a drug dealer indicted in the United States, Biden knows it. The documents are there. And Shetima Kashim, a terrorist, a founder, a, um, um, a founder and mastermind of terrorism in, um, in Nigeria. The one who founded Boko Haram wants to be the vice president of Nigeria. And you know what that means? They have set a stage to make Nigeria the hub of terrorism in Africa. Something the United States plays game with. Now, they have proved that they don't mean it. So, invariably, who is sponsoring terrorism in Nigeria? Who is sponsoring terrorists all over the world? Your guess is as good as mine. If Biden can do this, this is interest against conscience. Nigerians, the solution to this problem is yours and yours alone. It rests in our hands. And this is the reason you must wake up. Going forward right away from this moment, and as you hear my voice, take over everywhere. Nigerian armed forces, this is a moment you must act to save your country from slipping into the hands of terrorists and terrorism. If you do anything now, patriotic members of the armed forces, you must join your civilian population to take power away from Buhari before he gives seed to Bola Ahmed Dinubu and Kashim Shetima. This is what he said. Get up and stand up. Get up. Stand up. Stand up for your right. You get up. You stand up. Don't give up the fight. You get up. You stand up. Stand up for your right. Get up. Stand up. Don't give up the fight. Don't give up the fight. Oh, Nigerians, don't let this moment slip by you. The solution of Africa must come from Africa because we have been copycats enough. A copycat can never be an original cat. Let's get our acts together. We have suffered from slavery, colonialism, imperialism, apartheid, and now globalization. We have been victims of all these things that they created. Who knows what they are creating more? The next thing they are creating. The plan now is to occupy Africa for keeps. They don't want to just come and cut people away like they did in, in the past because they already have a way of cutting them away through certain intellectual booby traps that saw some of us 
outside Nigeria, drain the country, drain the continent. Now they want to come, move in and occupy it for kids. And then enslave us right on the soil of Africa. Nigeria is their biggest ticket. And if we allow Nigeria go, if we allow Nigeria go, because of our political differences, because of our tribal differences, because of our regional differences, because of uh, some people's bigotry, because of uh, their tribalism, we will all suffer. Hear this. Don't give up the fight. Hey, Nigerians in the United States, get ready to vote in 2024. The man that all of us rolled up our sleeves to vote for has turned behind to stab us in the back. We have over 3 million Nigerians here with U.S. citizenship that can vote. We must put our votes to work in 2024 presidential election in the United States. Yes. So you Nigerian at home, starting right effectively immediately, take to the streets of Abuja, occupy it, occupy it. It is your right to refuse what you don't want. God gave you that power, that dominion. That is what is rolled up into your basic human right and your right to the citizenship of Nigeria. You must enforce them now. Don't be afraid of no army. Don't be afraid of no police. The army, the police, they are ready to back you because they hate what is happening. The army voted massively for um, Obi. That is the commander-in-chief that they chose. The commander-in-chief that will be responsive to their need, who will listen to them, equip them to be a modern force. God bless you and God bless Nigeria. Go out now. Rise up. Get up and stand up. Stand up for your rights, Nigerian. Bye-bye.